देर इज गोइंग दे टेक दे एडवांटेज अब भगवत गीता एंड स्पीक्स देर ऑल नॉन सेंस थिंग्स दे आर नॉट रिप्रेजेंटेड यू आर कृष्णा कृष्णा रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इज ही टू एक्सैक्टली स्पीक्स फॉर कृष्णा इज फॉर इट इज नॉट रिपीज सो एवरी वन कैन बिकम कृष्णा इज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव प्रोवाइडेड he speaks exactly like you hmm. no but uh, can i can i take you back to the point which is not clear to me when you said that uh, sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam shalam praja krishna is speaking in a context of a clear defined action for arjuna whereas now that clearly defined action is not available to us why not available because we don't know what is our action Now going to Now, the Krishna said, "Sarva dharma and paritaj." Yes. Now, dharma means <coughs> occupation. Dharma is not translated as religion. No, no. This is wrong translation. Dharma means occupation. Activity. Activity. Yes. Occupation. All activities. Yes. yes. So you are already in some activity. Yes. Everyone. It must be engaged in something, mm. doing something. Mm. So Krishna says, "You give up this. Yes. You just surrender. Yes, yes. And do what I say. Yeah. Then it is. Yeah, surrender. but he is saying serve dharma and paritajya, yeah. not serve karma and paritajya. Dharma and... means karma. Dharma means activity. Just like a Brahman. But activity is wow. action. No, no, this is how you can understand a Brahman. Guna karma vibhav. Yes. Yes. So this this dharma, Brahman dharma, Chaitanya dharma, yes. they are divided according to karma. You cannot avoid this karma. Dharma means karma activity. Brahman he is practicing samadham, tadikha, jaba, jnanam, vijnanam, astikam, brahma karma, sabhav. This is hmm. karma. Brahma karma sabhav. Chaitanya karma sabhav. So dharma means this is sadham. Brahman executing the karma Brahman is the yes, but then karma neva dikaraste. So karma means that you are as you are not karma being... neva dikaraste. No, no, no. Because activity. Karma means karma. Karma means that which means inactivity. Because it is said that it is a Brahma karma sabhavan. Yes, yes. It is karma. So Brahmana's activity means Brahman. Yes. So that activity is karma. Yes. Jajan, jajan, patan, patan, dan, pradigha. These are Brahmanas. Yes. And Chhatriyas to become king, to fight for the protection of the citizen, to become in charitable disposed. Everything is described. That yes. these are these Chhatriyas karma. Mm. These are the Brahmanas karma. Mm. These are the Bhishma's karma. These are the sudras karma. So, sadharma means to execute the prescribed form. Mm. Mm. That is sadharma. Mm. Dharma karma. Dharma means karma. Mm. But prescribed. Mm. You are brahmana. You have to act as a brahmana. Mm. Yes. yes. You are chhatriya. You have to act as a chhatriya. Yes. So, acting means karma. How you can have high karma? Bhakti yes, is also karma. Yes. Bhakti is also karma. Yes. Yes. And bhakti, what is this bhakti? Just like we are engaged in devotion and service. That service means karma. So they are also rising early in the morning at four o'clock, offering mangalarati, and then reading books, then chanting Hari Krishna mantra, then taking the class and taking prasada, then going to. Outside, for performing sankirtan, for distributing books, whole day, twenty-four hours karma. Yeah. So, therefore, outsiders they cannot understand that they are also working like us. They are also selling books. They are going to the press. They are also eating. They are riding motor car. They are typing. What kind of bhakti it is? They cannot understand what is bhakti. Yeah. They think bhakti means that so. Just uh, close your eyes and make some murmuring sound. That is all. Hmm. Bhakti is not no. like that. Bhakti is the quality. Yes, yeah, quality of karma. Just like yeah. Arjun. Arjun was fighting, hmm. so he was given the certificate. Bhaktosi, bhaktosi. You are right, you are. Hmm. 
So everything is called what ever you do. Uh, it is activity. Hmm. But we have to see the quality of activity. Hmm. What is the quality that is, of it? Yeah, that is the yes. How you can use without being active? Hmm. You are living being? That is not possible. Hmm. Simply we have to see the quality of activity. Hmm. That makes one karma yogi, jnana yogi, dhyana yogi, karma bhakti yogi. Everywhere there is karma. Hmm. Without karma there is nothing. Hmm. Can I ask you another? That word is called karma mishra bhakti. Yes, yes. It is not unalloyed bhakti. No, no. Uh, unalloyed bhakti. Hmm. There is no karma. There is no karma. Yes. There is no karma. Yes. So that is very high state. Yes, uh, yes. But how does akarma. It there comes akarma. Ah, uh, akarma. Sanyasa. Uh, no, karma sanyasa. More than akarma. Sanyasa. Ah, uh, more than akarma. Sanyasa is akarma. Yes. Uh, sanyasa is also not akarma. Sannyas means, uh, that is also described in Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Anasita karma phalam kajyam karma karuti. There, there is also karma. Hmm. Kajyam karma karuti ja sa sannyasa. Hmm. It is my duty on this principle when one works, he is sannyas. He, he does not work for himself. He wants for Krishna. Hmm. And that is sannyas. Anasita karma phalam. Because if you are doing something, there must be some result, but you do not take the result. Anasita karma karma. Kajyam, it is my duty. Kajyam. Karma 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 There is karma. So sannyasa. How you can say in sannyasa there is no karma? Karma is always there. But you have to see for what form this karma is being done. End justifies the means. What is the end of this karma? So when, when the end is Krishna, to satisfy Krishna, anukullena krishna anusilana bhakti Yeah. Then what is the meaning of akarma? Akarma means that does not produce another form. Or sometimes akarma means laziness. Not, not in the sense of Gita. Karma no mi bodh dhabbam. So, Akarma means, that is bhakti also. Hmm. Akarma means, this guy is jagyati karma annatra karma bandhana. Hmm. Annatra karma bandhana. When you become bound by the result, action of the karma, hmm. that is karma. And when we act jagyati for Vishnu, for hmm. Krishna, hmm. Uh, that is not karma, that is akarma, so you can say. Mm. It does not produce karmani nidhati kintu cha bhakti bhaja. Mm. In the Brahma Sangita it is said, those who are engaged in devotion and service, they are not producing any more karma. Mm. But then why there are three words, karma, vikarma, akarma? Mm. There are three. Yeah, that is right. karma. Vikarma means, karma means you act according to the injunction of the shastra. Yes. That is karma. Yes. And vikarma means when you Violate. The, violate the injunction of the Shastra. Violate. 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 Yes. 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 You yes. should not do this. Yes. Uh, just like in the Shastra it is said that you should not in that end sinful activities. Mm. That is Vikarma. That is Vikarma. Uh-huh. If you act sinfully mm. against the injunction of the Shastra, then it is sinful. That is Vikarma. Mm. An akarma means which does not produce any other result. Mm-hmm. That is akarma. Mm-hmm. Karma, akarma, vikarma. Yes. But generally we act, we indulge in karma to get some result. Yes. That is karma. Mm-hmm. That is not vikarma. Mm-hmm. Vikarma, when you act against the principles of uh, sinful activities, uh, no, uh, you, when you act as sinful activity, just like sriyasrana pāna dhūta jatra pāpa Four kinds of sinful activities are described in this half clause. Illicit sex life. Uh, you cannot indulge in sex life without marriage. That is illicit. That is sinful. So killing animals unnecessarily, that is sinful. Uh, then intoxication, then sinful, and gambling. These are sinful activities. 